Hey, Peter, what are you up to? Hey, I'm uh, working on this uh, uh, demo that uh, showcases the new Android Mesh uh, provisioning app that we have. You want to see? Sure. Cool. So, um, here we have five, uh, five thingies, which are unprovisioned. Uh, you can see that uh, by they are, because they are blinking uh, red. And we have the app on the phone here called uh, NRF Mesh and this is an uh, app for iOS that allows you to provision in uh, devices into your network. So you can try to, to do that. And uh, the button on the thingy here uh, will act as a, as a switch in this uh, demonstration and the LED will act as a light. And how you configure the nodes after provisioning will decide if they are a light or a switch. And try to add the first device uh, and this uh, also supports authentication so uh, when I when I press provision here it will uh, the LED will blink a random number of times and this will be input into the app nine uh, times then we have the progress bar down here. You can see how the provisioning is doing, and uh, the LED will turn uh, turn green after the provisioning is is done. And then we can try to configure this uh, this node. So here we have the the list of elements and the different models that we have in uh, in this uh, node. So we have the configuration server that allows you to configure the node, and also a simple on off server and a simple on off client. The server is uh, is the LED. And the client is the, is the switch. So we'll make this a switch by going into, into the client. We assign the application key to this uh, model. And then we want to assign a publication address for this uh, switch. Let me select group address zero, no, C001. And then that's finished. And then we can try to add another node. As, as, a, as a light and then we provision it in one, two, two blinks and we want to configure that one and uh, it's also important to mention that uh, this app is uh, very generic, so it will discover any elements and different models uh, that, uh, that exist. It's not only the simple on-off uh, model. So we want to make this, uh, this is uh, a light. So we go into the server and we bind uh, the app key. And then we want to add the uh, subscription address. And then we select uh, address C001 and then that's uh, configured. Now we should be able to control it with, uh, with the switch here. So this uh, publishes mesh address uh, to the publication address to the, to, the, to the light which subscribes to the same address. Then we can add some more. And on this, uh, we'll add uh, two uh, subscription uh, addresses so that this node is part of two groups. Okay, two groups, groups one and two. And then we can control all of these with, uh, with the switch. And uh, the provisioning data is also stored persistently. So if I turn this uh, off and uh, on again, in case of uh, to just to show a power loss, it will still be uh, working. And I can also add another another switch here. Then I will go into the client, add the app, same app key, 
And I will use the uh, publication address of the second group. So now this switch will control all of the LEDs, well this will control two of them. So this could be for example if you have two lights in a room and all of the lights are, are uh, the first floor for example. And you can have different groups doing different functionalities. And uh, you can get this uh, app on the Apple App Store right now, it's called an Earth Mesh. You can use it to provision in nodes into the network. But more importantly, we also have something called the uh, NRF Mesh Provisioning Library that you can find on GitHub. And you can use this to, to build your own uh, provisioning app. And you can also uh, integrate that into, into your own app. And this has a very nice uh, license, so you can uh, use your own branding uh, with, this, uh, with this library.